Right, I've just done a video of the Resident Evil 2 cabinet. I'm just doing a quick one of this unit. All the configuration is done for the um, Wii controller kit, um, the Xbox controllers, all the mapping and everything like that is done. I'm just going to try and come in in the morning and get the chrome t-mold and add it onto this unit and then get the back panel on and um, then i'll probably wrap it in everything monday and um, i'll be wrapping the resident evil 2 cabinet monday and this unit is absolutely stunning and um, we've got the custom batman um dust covers there and then we'll have this amazing custom batman front grill it's just basically where the sub hole was i was meant to have um not had a sub hole there and because the customer didn't want a sub so what i ended up doing because we cut the piece as i say is i'm creating a cool grill and have leds in there and have a couple of layers of acrylic and stuff so we'll have some yellow acrylic there and then we'll have the black on the outer side with these bolts going through which looks really cool and then we'll have the leds going around the ring then do change um marquee and everything is done on this unit and we also have the custom grills on the back as usual a lot of my customers order the um official sandwich sticks a lot better for gaming um so well recommended i usually do offers on um eight terabyte machines or above for the official sandwich sticks for the three terabyte units i do charge for them official sticks and um, this unit also has the two usb ports on the front of the machine that is a lot better um having them on the front um rather than the back so if you wish to have them on the front in the future just let us know um, like I say, we've got the Wii bar on here. I'm not sure where the customer's going to mount this. It does work all right on the front there. Maybe just a bit of blue tack on there and just put it there for when they're using it and when they're not using it, move it. Um, you could possibly mount it under there or even the top of the machine. But it does have a switch on the back for top and bottom um, mode. And then I think in one of the settings, you've just got to go and change it for the um, main shooting games. You just rather if it's top, bottom or center of the screen, you've got to change it on touch mode as well. So I've got it configured for the bottom. Um, so that's all configured for that. But it, like I say, if you wish to move it up to the top, you will have to change that switch on the back. If you want to use it for MAME, you would have to change it within touch mode. But it's quite simple. Just give us a call and we'll go through that. Right, I believe me, camera's going to run out of batteries, so I'm going to head off. So like, share, subscribe to the videos. I'll do another video of this unit once it's all complete. Um, a nice preview video. So like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you later. Bye.